Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Parma, Michigan. I'm super excited for the latest episode of One Question with me, Mr. Sharp. Today on the show, the amazing, the talented, the wonderful Newberry Honor Award winning author, Adam Gidwitz. Are you ready? Let's go. So excited that Adam agreed to be a part of One Question with Mr. Sharp. He is an amazing talent, has written some phenomenal books for kids, a Tale Dark and Grim series, and Inquisitor's Tale, which you want a Newberry honor for, are staples in classrooms all over the world. And Adam has a book now that is accessible to a much younger reader, the new chapter book series, Unicorn Rescue Society. And I loved it. I read this book aloud with my two daughters over winter break, and we loved it. We love learning about the amazing characters. We love the Jersey Devil, and we love the anticipation of possible unicorns one day in the series. I wanted to ask Adam, why write for a younger audience? Why, why write a book for the second and third graders that they can read? And what was that like? So I asked Adam, Adam, what was it like writing and why did you write a series for younger readers? Take it away, Adam. Hey, Mr. Sharp. This is Adam Gidwitz here. You asked me a question and I'm going to answer it. The question was... Uh, um, okay, this is like me in every class ever. They were like... Mr. Gidwitz. And I was like, I don't remember the question. Okay, I think I got it now. The question was, what was it like writing a book for younger readers? And why did I do it? Well, let me start with why I did it. Um, I have written books like the Grimm books, uh, which are exciting and funny, but also pretty darn scary. Uh, I wrote a Star Wars book. That's really for everybody. And I wrote um, The Inquisitor's Tale, um, which won the Newbery Honor last year, which I have to mention contractually. Just kidding. Not kidding. And um, it is um, for slightly older readers, sort of fifth grade and up. Um, but I taught first grade. I taught second grade. I taught fifth grade language arts. And I really wanted to write a book um, that any kid could read and enjoy. I wanted the kind of series where um, if a kid has been loving, I don't know, Magic Treehouse or Secrets of Drew and other kind of chapter books. They're ready to go up to middle grade, but they're not yet ready for Percy Jackson or the Jumbies or something fun like that. Um, the Unicorn Rescue Society is there for them, but that it's funny enough and exciting enough that everyone would like it. That's really important in any book that I write. If an adult is not laughing on almost every page or feeling scared like a kid would feel um, or tense from the suspense, it's not a good enough book, in my humble opinion. So, that is why I started writing The Unicorn Rescue Society. Yeah, I did. So, The Unicorn Rescue Society is about two kids, um, a boy named Elliot and a girl named Uchenna. Um, and in the first book, The Creature of the Pines, they take a field trip, um, led by the eccentric social studies teacher at their school, Professor Fauna. Uh, the field trip goes a little bit awry because in the middle of the field trip, Uchenna and Elliot get separated from the class, and there um, in the woods, they discover um, a young Jersey devil. Now, most people in New Jersey know what a Jersey devil is, and hockey fans might be familiar with the Jersey devils, but a lot of people aren't. So I'll tell you that a Jersey devil is um, a creature that is believed to live in the wilds of New Jersey. Um, they believe it has wings and has like a face, maybe like a deer or a goat, um, it's got claws in the front and hooves in the back in many accounts. Um, and what most people don't know is that they're blue with red wings. And the Jersey Devil that Uchenna and Elliot um, confront is a young Jersey Devil. So he's kind of cute, but also ferocious and cute. Elliot wants to name Jersey, Jersey the Jersey Devil. Um, Uchenna really wants to name him Bone Chewer. Um, Professor Fauna eventually weighs in and says it's going to be Jersey. So... Uh, the main characters of the whole series become Uchenna, Elliot, Jersey, and Professor Fauna. And each book, they go on an adventure to a different location. They learn about the culture, they learn about the mythology, um, and they have to rescue a mythical creature from danger. The first book I wrote on my own. My second book I wrote with my pal from childhood, Jesse Casey. They go to the Basque country. Then the third, fourth, fifth books I wrote with other amazing authors, Joseph Bruchak, um, Emma Otegi, David Bowles, 
Hannah Kahn. And each time they'll go to a place that one of these authors knows a great deal about. Either they live there, their families are from there, they study that culture. Um, and uh, it's a way to learn about those cultures um, in a much deeper and richer way that is also hilarious and funny and fast-paced and scary. Am I answering your question? What was the question again? What was it like to write a book for younger kids? Oh, well, in some sense, it's not that different. When I'm writing a book, all I'm doing is just picturing the kids that I'm telling the story to, and I tell them the story, and I write down what I'm telling them. Sometimes I stop talking and I just write, but I'm always just picturing the kids. So it didn't really feel like I had to change very much. I just pictured the changed which kids I was picturing. Um... That comes, I think, probably from having been a teacher and knowing you know, how to talk to your, to your audience. Uh, you speak to middle schoolers differently than second graders. Second graders tend to be smarter than middle, middle schoolers. Middle schoolers, you have to insult a lot more. That kind of thing. So, um, all right. I think I answered your question, but now I'm supposed to ask you a question. You said one question. I want to ask you two questions. Question number one. I've heard, I've already been on tour for just a little while for the Unicorn Rescue Society book, which comes out April 10th. Um, but I've been on a pre-publication tour, and kids have told me that they have a lot of information about unicorns, particularly that I did not know. For example, one kid told me that when a unicorn farts, it's like a rainbow sprinkle. Um, didn't know that. Uh, another kid told me that when a unicorn poops, it's actually how we get marshmallows. Um, didn't know that either. Um, so I would be interested if any of your viewers have more information about mythical creatures that I might not know so that we can include, include them in future books. My second question is, I think this t-shirt is awesome. And my question is, would any of your viewers purchase this t-shirt if I put it on a website? I haven't decided whether I want to go through all the work of making a t-shirt, making t-shirts for everybody, putting them on the website, selling them. But I will if you guys want them, so you got to tell me, is it worth the effort? Would you buy the t-shirt or not? That's the second question. The most important question, of course, is do you have information about mythical creatures that I need? Because I would like it. Thank you, Mr. Sharp, for doing this. Thank you, viewers, for watching it. Sorry I kept forgetting the questions. I'll try to do better next time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I would definitely wear a Unicorn Rescue Society shirt. I would be one of the coolest kids in class. It seems like everyone has a unicorn shirt on these days. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please, please answer Adam's questions down below. Thank you for being awesome. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy reading.